Hey everybody and welcome back to Tilk's Adventures in Dark Souls. When we last left off we'd unlocked the shortcut at the Grand Archives and I should be there right now but I remembered that we forgot to burn our bone shard. So let's do that right now before we leave. Burn that bone shard. Yes. Plus 10 Estus. Right, we're off to the Grand Archives. Right, so our goal right now consists of three separate things. Number one, defeat the three NPCs. That will be a bit of a problem. Maybe. Maybe we'll be fine. Number two, defeat all the enemies in that direction. And then number three, unlock the shortcut. Question is, can we backstab? Will they know we're here? Please don't heal. I don't know if she can. Oh, she parried me! Oh, that could have been dangerous. No, oh, she healed! No, she parried me again! Right, Mr. Ferrosa Knight, Mr. Faram, please. Don't. Oh, stop parrying me! <laughs> You're a mage! You shouldn't have that kind of power. Huh. Ah! Trap me. Don't do it. Stop it. I love how she doesn't actually um, go for the riposte. She literally just parries you. And then runs. I like that. Right, we gotta take down this arrow guy. Or do we? It also has swords. Oh, I see. Charging up. Ah! Oh. oh, he's using Onkiri and Ubidachi. Oh yeah, because he drops them. Makes sense. Don't you heal? Don't you? Don't you? You son of a gun! I'm dead. Yeah. I tried to get him before he healed. That's really annoying. Also, I didn't send my elevator back down. Alright, let's pop an ember. We're running low. We're down to 10. Also, we absolutely need to use a purging stone. Or else we died so much. There we go. Yeah, I could have backed off and healed, but my entire goal was just try to get rid of the Gotthard, the, the Black Hand member. That's the guy. We've got to try and get rid of that guy. Oh, but it didn't work, sadly. Oh, there's the treasure from that woman we killed. I guess we backstab. Okay. Right, okay. This is good. We've got that guy's attention. But we don't have the attention of the other guy, so we can bring him in here. Never mind. Somehow his friend Lent. That's not good. I'm gonna get shot. Alright, souls. Don't know how many we got. But I want them. How many do I have? No, 13,000 is not insignificant. To this! I love how I got straight back up and tried to kick him. Because that was. Totally, the attack I tried to do. War cryer. All that extra strength means nothing when you're dead. And then this guy should be easy. What are you doing? You forget how to play. Are you just useless on your own? I guess so. Give me the Onkiri and Bidachi. Right, there's really only one tough part to do now, and that's up here, which is... Honestly, it's more than just tough. It's freaking annoying. But we do get our final... I think it's our final. Esther Shad. How many... I've got 11. I'm going to drink, just in case. Yes, yeah, so we are final Esther Shad down here. I can't do it. I have to do it this way. But, unfortunately, we're... I have to fight those guys. 
Free Jane Winger Knights. Right, we've got a free run down to this. The most important part. We can go up, but I'd rather fight them below. If I'm lucky, I might be able to pull one of them. Uh, get the aggro. Chance out, we're going to get two. Now we can backstab these guys, they like to spin to win, they like to throw axes, they like to do all sorts. So let's just see what we can get. Do I have any of your attention? No, but I can get your attention. Let's do it. Uh, this one? I missed. Oh, but I got his attention. Okay, well, we're looking alright. Didn't think I'd actually be able to get that on the slope. We did. Done. Got his axes. Um, don't be fooled. These guys are not easy. I'm going to leave him for a second because I might be able to get a plunge attack. See, there's another one just... Oh, where's the other guy? You know, they're not in a position where I can plunge attack them, unfortunately. Oh, well, while we're here, we'll go up and grab the treasure. I don't remember what's up here. I don't think it's anything important. It might literally just be an ember. Hunter's ring. That is a pretty nice view. Not the nicest view I've seen. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. How risky am I feeling? <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. Yep. <laughs> no. Please. You don't understand. You don't understand. I have to uh, quickly change my rings. Right, here we go. This man has a big old spin to win. Ooh, the delay! That delay got me very worried. Alright, spin to win. The epic dive plus spin to win. We're dead. Oh! Oh! Oh, what? <laughs> that missed me! You missed! Oh, jeez. Right, I'm definitely calling shenanigans on that guy because he missed. He absolutely missed. Right, we still look human, but we have having to use another ember. Very unfortunate. We have two paging stones. We've got 50 grand up there, so we can go buy, can buy another 10 paging stones if we need to. You know, which is uh, the equivalent of a, a level up at this stage. One level. Do we want to get stronger, or do we want to look good? It's really only one answer to that question. But we do need to recover our souls. Uh, these guys, I won't say they're infinite, they're not infinite. They just, they will respawn. And we need to kill all three of them, because if we defeat all three of them, we get a piece of loot. That loot is not important to us, it is a tech net slab. But at the same time, we need it. Because we're on a quest. A quest to get all of the loot, and we're going to do that. Just looking at the sea. Right, let's drag these boys down. One at a time. You're lucky. I'll waste all. Oh no! Okay, that's oh, he's rolling. He's agile. This guy's. This guy knows exactly what is up. That should have been a backstab. Oh, 
so good with your spin to win. Right. You may notice as well they have gold axes, which is unfortunate because when they die, uh, if they do drop them, they drop silver ones. I don't want your silver axes, I want gold ones. Do I like some kind of scrub who uses silver? No, I'm the kind of guy who wears gold. What are you doing? Oh no! That's annoying because it's a very much a random attack. You can't sort of predict where those are going to land. That should be the end of him though. Yeah. One more to defeat and then we get Titanite Slab. Looks like we should be able to open up with a backstab as well. Or not. Haha! <laughs> I got the moves. No, you should be dead. How are you alive? You have no your health bar is invisible. Health bar is invisible. I got your Titanite slab. And your slightly less important large Titanite. Right, we can drop it down here. Um I really hope I don't die. I really do. Don't do that to me. Right, where is the hole? There it is. Hup. Crab. Divine Pillars of Light. A spell I've actually never learned. I believe it's a miracle. Right, there's a piece of loot there. We're going to get shot and killed, I feel it. I can feel it. Back to the shrine, get us out of here. Right, I came back because A, we've got a bunch of souls, and B, we have an Estus Shard. We can now finally get the maximum amount of Estus available to us. What? What? <laughs> what? Thank you, buddy. Thank you for that. Uh, can I level up, please? I would love to. One damage. That's sad. Right, we need 12,000 souls. I know we have a thing worth 20, but I'd rather not use that. Can we get 12? Nope. Take one of those. Ashen one. That's enough for another level. Two damage. I'll take it. It's not perfect. Not perfect. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look. I'm pretty sure we have the best refinement available to us. What? Infuse. Where are we? We got this, which is refined. There's nothing that's going to give us better scaling. Aurora move scaling. I'm just being silly. Okay, flight, bless deep, dark, blood, poison, hollow, shrine. Strength, dex, uh, no stats. Magic, magic. Magic, 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 magic. Uh, low strength, low strength. Look. Shrine stone. I'm sure they're missing one. I'm sure I'm, sure I'm missing one. Be careful. Whatever. We've leveled up. We've got a few souls spare. I'm going to buy some of these. Just because I know I'm going to lose the souls if I don't. Right, we've done a fair amount. Let's get back in there and clear up the next area. So our goal right now... Yeah, our goal right now is to... Clear out the area on the right. Upper right. Uh, that leads us to a shortcut. With that shortcut done, we're ready for the boss. With that boss dead... We're then able to go straight to the final boss. And then it's the end. So, I've been thinking about the DLC. And we have to do the DLC before we end the series. Uh, end the game.
game. And I don't think I'm going to do it. By the way, this bridge will be super easy for us. I don't think I'm going to do the DLC. Not because it's difficult. I mean, there are certain sections, certain bosses that are difficult in both, but that doesn't bother me. It's all fun and games. What bothers me is I just... I don't like the DLC in this game. Ashes of Ariandel, I think, is an atrocious piece of DLC. That's absolutely not worth the money uh, you pay for it. I think Ashes of Ariandel was just an excuse to add PvP arena to the game. The actual content in it itself is short and kind of boring, if I'm honest. Uh, when I first got the DLC, I was expecting like this big, big, big area. Uh, I ended up completing it in, I think like three hours it took me on my very first attempt. That is silly. Especially coming off the back of Dark Souls 2 um, DLC. Oh, come on. The DLC in Dark Souls 2 what is fantastic. Huge areas. Huge areas. The only thing the DLC in this game has going for it is that the lore is expanded upon a bit, but not in any meaningful way as far as I'm concerned. So Ashes of Ariandel is not good. We then have the second piece of DLC, the Ring City, which is worth buying, but it's it's only an okay piece of DLC. The it has a really good covenant, probably one of the better covenants in the game. By the way, see how good I'm doing when I'm just mindlessly playing and not focusing on it? Um, the the Ring City DLC is... It's okay. Some of the bosses are very annoying. Dark Eater Medea is a... Uh, I don't want to say a horrible boss, it's just an annoying boss. Uh, we are at the shortcut, by the way. It's just on this door on the right. There are a couple of enemies left, though. And the final boss of the DLC that I'm not going to spoil the name of is... Uh, it's it's a very fun fight, I have to admit. I do like the final boss of the DLC. Lore-wise, I don't like him. I just, I just don't like the lore behind him. It's like a super in-depth character that... Would normally be fine, except he was only added in the Ring City. There's like no illusions to him throughout this game or any of the previous games. For example, like Gwyn, the Lord of Cinder. Uh, the How dare you? He was alluded to all the way through the first game and then ended up being the final boss of the first game. Come over here. I can't fight you and your buddy at the same time. It's, it's not... How am I alive? I'm risking everything literally just to look at how much HP I've got. Nine. Don't do whatever you're trying to do. Oh, it's one off. There we go. Pinch him off. Oh, no! Dying there would have been a travesty. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I don't like the lore behind... Like, like I said, Gwyn has a lot of lore in the first game. And then he is the final boss of the first game. Second game, he's not in it anymore, but there's still lore pertaining to him third game, there is still a law pertaining to him. But in this game, the guy, the final boss, is spoken about like he is this fantastic person who has been in every game. It's the kind of build-up you'd expect for someone very important throughout all the games, and it's just not. He's just a guy that was added in the DLC. And like, like I said, I just don't like that aspect of the law behind him. Like, they treat him as though he's this character that people love and is to be revered and it's essentially nobody in terms of uh, popularity not that popularity is the selling factor I 
I'm getting someone behind me. Yeah, I heard him approaching. This is becoming more annoying by the second. Oh! No! Good job I bought all those embers. Right, so... Uh, yeah, I was talking about how he's basically nobody. Now, you can kind of say the same thing for Dark Souls 2 with the DLCs it released. There was no real mention of the bosses of those three pieces of DLC in the main game. However, there were allusions to them. And then with each piece of, piece of DLC, it built upon the others. Like, uh... I'm trying not to spoil it, but each piece of DLC was about a certain king. And once you were uh, defeated the king in each one, you learnt more about the next, etc, etc. And the, the law was built on why these three kings were so important. I mean, this game, the first piece of DLC, the Ashes of Ariandel, does kind of establish a little bit about why Gale is important, but it's not really. It doesn't really do that, it just kind of establishes, oh, here's his character. It doesn't really say his relevance to the story. In fact, you literally don't find out his relevance to the story until you defeat him at the end of Ring City, so... That was just a bit of a rant, anyway. But yeah, Ashes are Riandal, I don't like. Ring City is just... okay. Can you stop this, please? Ring City is only okay, so yeah. If there was enough demand for me to do the DLCs, sure, but honestly Dark Souls as a series on my channel doesn't get that many oh this is horrible. Dark Souls on my channel doesn't get that many views. So I'm not really inclined to keep putting more time into something that I know I'm not gonna massively enjoy. I mean don't get me wrong, I love I love the game. But the DLCs are just going to annoy me. I was expecting a vertical uppercut. I was not expecting horizontal slash. Alright, that's how you want to do it. I went too far. I've kind of gone over today's time a little bit, but it doesn't matter. We're almost at the shortcut. Honestly, I should have gotten it the first time. Just fighting both of those guys at once wasn't the best thing for me. <clears throat> I'll lose my voice again. It's yeah, so basically from Irrafil. The beginning of Irrafil. Up to now, and presumably the end of the game, I've recorded over the course of just a couple of days. One day I recorded most of it, yesterday I took off, and then today I recorded the rest. So my voice is kicking out, so what is the date today? It's the, oh, it's the 4th of July today. Just to let you guys know, this is not going to come up until what? April, mid. June, July. It might be like October when this goes up, maybe November. I kicked! You can't kick a shield bash? Says who? Says who? I thought he rolled over his friend's shoulder. I don't like fighting two at once and these guys refuse to split up. Okay. Just the old run and poke. As long as I do this, they're trying to walk towards me menacingly, which means they're not blocking. And of course, because I said that, he started blocking. I do like that you gave me an ember. I did try to attack then. Believe it or not, this is the final guy before the shortcut. Oh no. Ooh. 
Nice shiny knight. I would love some more embers, don't get me wrong. I'd also love like another 10,000 souls. Then I can actually level up again. But yeah, we're, we're, we're there, boys. There shouldn't be any more enemies. That is the boss in there. Shortcut is just on our left. Right in here. What we absolutely want to do is open this gate. Because if we die to the boss and when we come back, what's going to happen is uh, we're going to get stabbed trying to open this. Oh, look at these engravings on the door. I don't think I've ever looked at these, but let's have a quick look. Let's get the old binoculars out. So we've got at the top, like, somebody praying. Then we've got, like, a knight. And then we've got, like, a woman holding a dress. These ones might be... Oh, we can't see these ones. I've never bothered to notice these before. Interesting. Right, so this elevator actually takes us down somewhere you may not be expecting. Because it feels like quite a while ago we should use Pageant Stone. We've got to look beautiful. This should take us down to the Dragon Slayer armor. Remember that guy? Remember the Dragon Slayer armor? Also, I did remember where we get his armor set from, by the way. And it's not here. So actually, no, that just reminded me. Uh, what we're going to do is, after we kill this boss, rather than go to fight the end boss, we'll go to the secret area and defeat the secret boss. I forgot about that. Literally until I reminded myself just then, because it's in the secret area where you get that armor set that I want. Right, let's rest. Sit our bums down. And I'm going to say thank you for watching. Tune in tomorrow to see me tackle the boss. And it's going to be a little bit awkward. In fact, we can go and level up. For now, though, goodbye.